Okay, so let me quickly show you what I found and how I think I'm going to be working this. But if I go to the settings on monkeytype.com, um, I found, I, w I ex wasn't exactly sure what this meant at first, but it's basically layout override. So it doesn't matter what preset your computer is already at for the layout that you want your keyboard to be going at, but you can change all the layouts up here. I currently have 40 selected, but if I go ahead and select Dvorak, it's brilliance. As you can see, most of my keystrokes are actually errors. So that's good. That means that I have um, this setup on Dvorak. So the next thing that I need to do is trigger my on-screen keyboard to actually know what each key press actually means. Because if I, can't, if I just have to look around the keyboard, it's going to take way too long. So you can't see this, but I'm going to quickly head to System Preferences. And I heard there's a way you can do this. If I head to my keyboard here, I click on... Okay, so after a bit of searching, I found this other website that I'm just clicking on for the first time. It's on Typing Club, but it's basically learning Dvorak for free. Now, I want to be able to get this input source. We're just going to quickly try this to see if it actually properly takes my input into account. So yeah, let's try out Typing Club, see if they're going to give us any help here. their videos for six-year-olds. Okay, so you. Oh no. Okay, input is still wrong on Typing Club, though this might be pretty good to experiment with around in the future. Um, I think my last resort is just going to be pulling up the Dvorak keyboard um, separately. And this isn't helping at all my on-screen keyboard I have here, so that's not, that's gonna go away. But we're gonna go to Dvorak Keyboard Layout. Click on Images. Let's see if we can get a good one. This, this one's simple, this one's simple. Okay, so we got A-O-U, A-O-E. So, A-O-E, U, I D H T N S. A O E U I D H T N S. This is gonna be hard. Am I gonna have to pull up this? Let me see if I can pull up this image here. This is not going very well so far. Okay, so we've pulled it onto our desktop and I'm gonna open this image up. Let's see if this is gonna work any better. Okay, we got. See if we can pull this up alongside monkey type. There we go, there we go. Let's see if this will work. Okay, there's our keyboard, what we're supposed to be typing. So, if I want to type out the letter we, then it's bottom. Wait, they changed where punctuation marks are too? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, that's all the same. But punctuation is all messed up too, so Z is normally where a question mark would be. So W must be... Oh no, it's not going to work well with the overlay. Oh no. Okay, so W would be here. No, we got to get our cursor on again. There you go, W. And then E. There we go. And then H. Wait. Is H below, H is below the 8. H is directly below the 8, so it's the J. H is where J is. There we go. Nope, made an error there. Oh, I think I know where this one is. And then W again. And then E. Nope. Nope, that's a guess again. So E is D. No, I, got, I can't, I can't try to equate Dvorak to QWERTY. I gotta make sure that I'm learning Dvorak separately. Okay, then we gotta find the V. Now V, okay, that makes sense, right there. And then E is D. Okay, I'm gonna have to learn this, but where's R? Where did R go? R is top where O would be. And then T, we gotta find T. T, there we go, and then E. And then LL, quick, where's the L? Where's the L? It's P. And then R. Alrighty, guys, um, we got 
three words printed on the 60 second test with 76.19% accuracy. We are making very good progress. Help. It, there, there has to be some way for me to change my input here on Safari. Let me try pulling up system preferences again. This makes no sense. And again, I'm just doing this for the first time. This is not set up or anything. I just, I found this out of monkey type, so I know I can change the input within the website of monkey type, but my goal is to be able to change the input across like my whole computer, but then also be able to turn it off when I need to. And so if I click on the keyboard here, input sources, Canadian English. Okay, let's try adding one here. Let's, let's add an input source. ABC. Okay, there, there's Dvorak. There's Dvorak. We're going to click on Dvorak. That looks like the one. We're going to click Add. Okay, there's Dvorak. Okay, there we go. So that should show up. Oh no, it's off now. Where's the menu bar thing now? Okay, Dvorak. Okay, so now we've selected Dvorak. Okay, so that's, that's good. Here, let's see if if we open up a random, so we're still typing out QWERTY. How does that work? Okay, I want to click on Dvorak. Now show keyboard viewer. Yes, H, this is working. This is brilliant. U and H, okay, space to begin. U, 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 H, H, wait, what? Oh, alrighty. Okay, this is actually going good. I, I, I figured out a way to make this work. I'm not as fast as Josh yet, but I'm getting there. Good job. Okay, next. U space U space H space H space U U space U U space this lag okay um yeah this is going good I guess now okay so we're getting on to some texts here hopefully my input stays the same. Forty-seven words per minute. Very, very good. Again, we're only typing U and H, but hey, E. Okay, so this is next to U and T. Okay, space to begin. Good, next. E E T T E T E T T E. What am I doing wrong? No. Oh. Um, what did I get there? That must have been faster in terms of words for it, but that was very inaccurate. <laughs> 40 words spent. okay. So, now we're incorporating all of these. So we got U, E, H, T. So U, E, H, T. H, T, U, E, here we go. This leg is really bad. Doing it backwards. No. H T H T E U H T E U H T -E. 
I'm getting that muscle memory from Cordy again, which is bad. Okay. We got the speed of 32 words per minute. Not bad at all. Okay, we got a game here loading on Typing Club. I'm gonna have to cut a lot of this stuff down, but we got remember, we just gotta remember. U E H T. Here we go. And then H H and then U H T E H T E U T H E T U. Um um H T E H H uh U T H E U T H H U T E U E T H U T E U Yes, there we go. We passed the ninja level. I know this is I this isn't bad. It's it, I know it's kind of aimed towards kids, but yeah, it's not bad. Okay. Type the O using your left ring finger. Okay, we're moving on. N. O and N are there. Okay, so O and N. O, oh, a space to begin. Okay. Oh, I'm not supposed to press that. N. Oh, am I doing it wrong? Oh, it was an extra O. I, I, I'm bursting in Dvorak. I'm bursting in O's and N's in Dvorak. Okay, we're getting on to some text now. Hard. It's really hard, actually. Cause I know in my brain that's not where they're supposed to go. I, I'm thinking like, oh, it's there and ends there. I'm supposed to type them with one hand, but I guess just how it is. So let's review. H T N O O U No U E O U E O. Here we go. Enter. We'll do one more. Okay, we're incorporating everything. H H and and no. Okay, we're gonna try that again. We're gonna try that again. Here we go. That was just really bad. Okay, H H U U T T. No, that's not where it is. And then N N. Oh, I'm starting to... My brain hurts. My brain hurts. This is not right. T-E. I'm basically... What am I even thinking? Like, I know in my brain. Like, there they are. There they are. There's... Okay, that's going to be it for today for my practice on Dvorak. Um, I did manage to figure it out by myself, so yay to that. I can practice on Typing Club with Dvorak now. I can practice on Monkey Type 2 with Dvorak. So any help and support that any of you guys have, if you have any experience, you know, learning Dvorak, if you like, if you can type fast in Dvorak yourself, or if you've just experienced learning new layouts. If this is a, something that's totally brand new to me. Again, I recorded this. I decided that, oh, I want to record this when I first turned out, and I thought that was a good idea. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Any tips, help, what I should practice, what I should do. I want this to be like a community thing. So just please post your comments down below. Make sure to leave a like if you like this video. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in my next video. This is speed typing. Type on, and type five words per minute with Dvorak. Type faster.